You are now watching Jang. She's a K-pop singer from New Jersey, who started out as a YouTube sensation, making videos of herself singing from the comfort of her home with just a webcam. These homemade videos, coupled with a powerful voice, helped her to rise to stardom online, gaining her channel millions of views. After all of her recognition on the web, Ailey was recruited by YMC Entertainment, worked under label mate Hui Song, and having gone through rigorous training, a K-pop princess was born in February of this year. Ellie, thank you for your time. No, thank you for having me. And for the people at home that might not know much about you, can you tell us when you started singing and why did you start singing? I started singing back when I was 15 years old. Um, I started singing because I was bored one day and I just started uploading videos online. Hi everyone, this is Ailey and I'm officially back on YouTube. Because I'd rather be home blue. So I'm saving all my love for you. Uh, they started getting pretty popular. Um I I guess so. <laughs> started getting a little attention, yeah. yeah. How did you feel when? I was thankful. I was very thankful. I was at a point where I wasn't really sure if uh, I really could sing or not. Because you know, a lot of people tell me, told me that that I was good at singing, but you know, I wasn't really sure if they were being honest. So I decided to put it online. And, do the test. Yeah, it's a, yeah. did the test, and um, thankfully I got very good feedbacks, and that made me decide take another step into the same career. So if I was going to go on YouTube and just post videos, like, do you think I could, do you think I had a chance, do you think I would have a chance? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. If I was, like, singing, like, uh, and I would always no. love you. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. You know what, actually, yeah. you might get a million views for yeah. being really bad. <laughs> um, when you, so when you, your debut, which was absolutely huge, one of the biggest debuts I've heard of since, Myself. Did you feel like overwhelmed at all, or was it like you took it all in your strides? Um, I was really happy because it's it was the moment I've been waiting for pretty much all my life. Just get it a bit more relaxed right now. I'm gonna play a word association okay. game. Yeah. Shiny. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. Good. Shiny apple. Seeds. Where, where is this going? <laughs> we're just playing. You know, okay. just, you know, trying to get like, you know, later we're going to take your answers to a psychologist and like, <laughs> really break it down. Um, K pop. K pop. Style. Diet. Sad. Uh, happy. Uh, music. Singing. Singing. Life. Ailey. Me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If I do this now on camera, this terrible beatboxing, okay, then you will have to sing something, okay? Just sing. Sing? Yeah, you can just sing the melody or something, yeah? Let's hear it first. It's actually traditional for the interviewer to get the interviewee's phone number, isn't it? That's what I was told. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I was is told it, that. Is, that's, it, is this real? That's, that's normal, isn't it? Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I love Don. And Jake! <laughs> <laughs> Top
talent show, Show Me the Money, is now underway in its search for Korea's next great rapper. The show's coaches Garyon, Miryo, Verbal Jint, Hoonie Hoon, 45 RPM, MC Sniper, Double K, and Juzok have a huge following. So it was no surprise that the auditions brought aspiring artists from all over the country. Each member of the live audience is given a certain amount of money when they watch a performance. With their voting keypads, they are able to distribute the money however they see fit among the groups. The contestant with the lowest sum is eliminated. With all this buzz, even the SNS world has been lit up with comments about the show. Singer Iori tweeted, I must still like hip-hop. Show Me The Money is so fun to watch. The show Martian X-File explores people's weird habits and unique obsessions. In this particular episode, we meet a woman who has over 200 pairs of shoes. 200? Wonder how many pairs I have. Two. Sneakers and dress shoes. I'm wearing them both. <laughs> the producers of Martian X-File decide to take their subject on a little trip to meet another shoe fanatic with 300 pairs. You thought you were crazy? You got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> the next oddity shown in the episode was a 15-year-old high school student who was only 4 foot 7. We meet her boyfriend who at 6 feet tall towers over her. But there's nothing weird about this relationship. It's just sweet young love. But she's so short, she could get a job at the piggy bank. <laughs> but when she has to look up, she looks to look down. Yeah. Uh, eh, bet her boyfriend has to buy her clothes because she's so short on cash. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! Ah. <laughs> Stay tuned. After the break, we've got Jake's Paper Cup Diet Diary and our picks for the top songs in K-pop for the first half of 2012. Stick around, there's more Jung coming your way!